In the previous section, we learned how to write components using AngularJS directives, and we added an XNOM widget so that users could see at a glance which of their favourite shows are airing next. This section is going to focus on using a third-party UI library called Angular UI Bootstrap to enhance already existing areas of our app. In the first video of this section, we will be using the typeahead directive from Angular UI Bootstrap. We will hook up to the TV show API we have been using and then use it to provide the suggested search functionality in our search page. At the very beginning of this video course we added the third party library Angular UI Bootstrap which provides loads of pre-built UI elements that we can add to our app. This video will utilise the typeahead directive to add the suggested search functionality we are after. As we've already included the Angular UI Bootstrap library, we can jump right in and add the directive to our application. The goal is to provide a simple, dynamic list of suggested searches to the user as they type in the search box we have already created. To do this, we add the typeahead directive to the text import we are using to submit our search query and specify the required parameters according to the Angular UI Bootstrap documentation. We're going to need to call a function in our controller and pass in the view value which is the value of the text input, so we can retrieve a list of possible TV shows to display. Using an additional property on select, we can also choose what happens when the user makes a selection from suggested searches. What we want to do is perform a search as normal. To do this, we can just call the query function within the search controller just the same as when the query button is clicked, but passing in the item, which is the selected suggested search. And this is all we need to do in the HTML, it's that easy. We now need to create the type ahead function we are calling from the HTML to collect and pass the suggested searches. As we already have search functionality available, we can reuse the search function as part of the show service to perform the query and return the results. We are using the JavaScript map function to pass and return only the show name from the result object as we don't want to show any other information within the suggested search dropdown. Now, if we open the search page in Chrome, as we start to type a search, we are presented with suggested searches. Clicking one will automatically perform the full search, providing us with the full set of search results. This video has shown how easy it is to add somewhat complex functionality to your application thanks to the Angular UI Bootstrap library. The next video will show how we can create paginated results for our search page, making use of another Angular UI directive.